opening face-off is just seconds away. Welcome to another exciting night of hockey action. Tonight's game is sponsored by Honda. Terrific action lies ahead. Montreal's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. San Jose's got possession in their own end. That's the way to make them pay. If you're looking for this type of open ice hit, you better have a good angle, and that's exactly what happened. This is a big-time major collision. Shoots one. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. And the loose puck gathered in by Alex Steen. Shoots and a save. Snapped up by Alex Steen. One-timer, lightning-like save off the one-timer. Directing that one to Parento. Taken up the middle. He's through. They can't find the target. In this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. San Jose is setting things up at center. And it's picked up in the defensive zone by Letty. To the safety of the net while his team makes changes. Get to Foley. Moving it now through the neutral zone. He can start some danger here. Oh, a save. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. That, oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. And we're happy to have Ray Ferraro with us as well. He is down near the ice. Oh, Doc, you know, you can't get too far into any matchup without discussing the goaltending, and that, of course, is going to have a great deal to do with who wins tonight's contest. But so much of the game is played in the small areas of the ice. You need puck support, you need to be physical, and then when you get puck support and puck possession, how quickly can you get into a scoring area? Always appreciate hearing what's going on down there, Ray. Jimmy Howard from upstate New York, three years at the University of Maine, one year the winningest goaltender in college hockey. But what do you see as his future in the NHL? He's been with Detroit for some time. He's going to continue to be a number one goaltender. I still don't believe he gets enough respect, not only in Detroit, but throughout the National Hockey League for the job that he does on a nightly basis. Chris shot, blockered away. Now it's directed to Phil Pilar. Strong play, good reach. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. A missed opportunity from this close in. Moving it to Verbata. Looks ahead to start something. To Phil Pilar. Stand up, poke check there. It's a three on two as they move in. Grab, great chance ahead. Left with the pad. Great job on a cut pass. On to Camilleri. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Erickson is going to the box. It's a tripping minor. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. San Jose is getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Nice face-off work. Montreal's in their own end and controlling play now. Fires! Did not find the net with the shot. He was trying to be a little bit... Superb! Saved by Dubnik! Everyone knows that, Doc, that was a tremendous save, and even the shooter realizes how good that was. Out in the slot. Got his pad on that one. Magnificent save. Snapping a pass to Camilleri. Headed right under the shadow of the scoreboard. Paddled aside. Set on further. They'll have to return. Buck gathered in by Eller. Shoots. Got a piece of it. They gain the zone, but there are two men back. He got in. Montreal's done a wonderful job of penalty killing, and so we're back even. Picked up in the attacking zone. Terrific save with a pass. Looking to Tafoli. Oh, and he is 
drill. Well, guys, he didn't see him coming until the last minute. That's a pretty solid contact. Turned right away with the poke check by Ladd. San Jose's in their own end and carrying it on. Rister, terrific glove save. He's kept it in. Keeps the pressure on. Big sweeping save. Gaining space may be time. Over the net. Chopped at by Andrew Ladd. And possession seized by Chara. Corralled at center by Ladd. Montreal's lugging it along in their own end. Chip to Galchenyuk. And he's tripped and there'll be a penalty. Delzato's going to the box. A player hit the ice and the call on them is tripping. Now this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck but he tripped up the attacking player. There's always a start to your power play night, and this is number one. Clean win on the draw. Good work with the stick. And the puck gathered in. Marvelous save. Score! A power play goal. Montreal's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Takes that pass that was just slipped ahead to it. He pinned him to the glass. Possession taken by Del Zotto. Knocked right off the stick. Puck is thrown to Bickle. 20 minutes have now been played. Only one goal scored and two periods yet to go. As we look at the shots on goal, it's hard to imagine there really were two teams in this game. It's lopsided. A gaudy 14 for Montreal, five for San Jose.